Today, I'll be teaching you how to conduct natural language processing in Python with TextBlock. Beyond that, I'll be putting natural language processing concepts in action, from part of speech tagging to lemmatization. Well, let's get right into it. Hello, my name is Rohak and I'm the founder of Empower Code, helping you make a change with technology. Today marks the eighth episode of my course, Data Science for Media Bias Detection, where we will demo natural language processing techniques with TextBlob. Let's get right into it. Awesome guys, now I've opened up my newspaper scrape project in Python. So if I right click the project folder here, I'll be able to create an entirely new Python file which we can use to demo natural language processing techniques in Python. After naming my file, I can simply click enter and now we're all set and ready to go. Awesome guys, now the first thing we want to do is import a text blob class from the text blob package. So how do we do that? Well, we simply specify the from keyword. Then we type in text blob, which is the name of our package. After this, we type in import. And here we can simply import the text blob class. Next, we also want to import the word class from text blob. So here in our previous import statement, we can simply add a comma and also import word. Awesome. We're all set and ready to go. Finally, we need to import random, which is another helper package that we're going to be using throughout our code. Now, if you don't have these packages installed yet, you can simply run the command pip install text blob on your local terminal or anaconda prompt. With that aside, let's get right into the code. Awesome guys. So on our actual NLP demo file, we need a new summary to test our NLP techniques upon. So what I've done over here is I've simply copied an existing summary of a news article. Let me paste that in right here. So we're going to be using this in our NLP file to perform and actually test our Python code upon. Awesome guys. So here what I've done is I've created a new method called NLP classification, which takes in a block of text as a parameter and performs natural language processing inside. Great. As you guys can see in the first line of our NLP classification method, I simply printed out the summary that was passed in as a parameter. Now we're going to actually create the text blob object that we're going to be performing natural language processing with. So how we do that is we create a new variable, let's call it summary, and we're going to assign it to a new text blob object. And inside we're going to pass in the text that was initially passed in as a parameter. Now we can perform POS tagging, also known as part of speech tagging on our summary text blob object. So what we're going to do here is we're going to typecast our result to a string and then inside we're going to type in summary.tags. And what this line of code does is we're going to see a large set of words and encoded labels to go along with them. These encoded labels will represent the different parts of speech for every single word. Cool. Now let me go ahead and call our NLP classification method on the new summary we defined earlier. So let me go ahead and run our code. And that is awesome. So you guys can see it printed out the summary and below it actually performed POS tagging on every single word inside of it. So it went from woman all the way to the end. Now this is a really cool application of natural language processing because now we're able to know the part of speech and their frequencies throughout our summary which is a really helpful piece of information. Let's go on and continue with our code. Now that we've performed POS tagging, let's go ahead and perform word tokenization and get all of the words inside of our summary. So here I'm going to typecast our result to a string and we can simply type in summary.words. It's that easy. So now let me click run and see what we get. Awesome. As you guys can see, it returned a list with every single word inside of our summary. So now we have the words with their part of speech, as well as all of the words themselves. Let's continue on our natural language processing journey and see what we can do next. Now, what if there was a way in which we could pluralize or singularize individual words inside of our summary? 
How cool would that be? Well, it turns out there actually is one. So here I'm going to type in plural of, since we're going to be trying to pluralize a given word. And then I'm going to concatenate summary.words, which remember returns a list of all our words. And I'm going to tackle the second element of this. And then here we're going to draw in an arrow to indicate that this is the new word that is pluralized and ready to go. We're going to concatenate summary dot words at the index one, which remember we specified earlier. And then after this, we're going to call the pluralize method. And let's go ahead and run our code and see what we get. Awesome. So as you guys can see on my screen, it was successfully able to pluralize woman to woman with an E instead. This is really cool because it opens up a lot of opportunities. By being able to perform word inflection on given words, we're able to change the entire dynamic of our new summary. How cool is that? So here I did the same thing for another word, only this time singularizing it instead. Let's go ahead and print this to the console. Check that out. It was able to singularize delays to delay. That is super cool. Now that we performed part of speech tagging, word tokenization, and word inflection on our new summary, we can go ahead and perform the other type of tokenization on our sentences. So here I'm going to typecast our result to a string, and we're going to print out summary.sentences. And this is going to return a list of all the individual sentences inside of our summary. Great. Now we have a resulting list of all the sentences in our new summary. So as you can see, if I continue to scroll, we have a bunch of sentences here, all denoted by sentence objects. So this one, for instance, reads, this is a small sample of the toll from ransomware attacks, so on and so forth. So with all these sentences, think about what you can do. We can perform POS tagging, word tokenization, and word inflection to really narrow down on the details and potentially search for any news bias that's creeping in. Now with our tokenization, POS tagging, and word inflection taken care of, let's have some fun and generate a dynamic summary of our text. Awesome guys, I just wrapped up with a dynamic summary extractor. Let's go line by line and see what I did here. So the first line, I simply initialized a new list called nouns. And in the second line, I created a new for loop and iterated over every single word and tag in our summary.tags. If you guys remember, our summary.tags returns a list of words along with their encoded labels representing their parts of speech. And so if our tag is equivalent to NN, NN stands for noun. So we're essentially checking if the word is a noun. We're going to append the word to our nouns list. All right, guys, let's go over what I did here. So first, I printed an initial print statement, and then I created a for loop iterating over every item in random.sample, taking in a parameter of nouns and five. So Python's random module provides a random.sample function for random sampling and to randomly pick more than one element from the list without repeating any elements. So this five represents taking a number from zero to five and randomly sampling it with our nouns list. So once we have that item decoded and figured out, we assign a new word object to it. And then with our word object, we can perform functions like lemmatize. And what our lemmatize function does is it decodes the dictionary base origin of our word. And once our dictionary base origin has been decided, we can simply pluralize our word and print it to the console. So let me run this and show you guys how it works. All right, guys, the moment you have been waiting for. Let me go ahead and run our script and see what we get. So right now it's generating a dynamic summary and there we have it. Let me zoom in here so you guys can see better. So it says that this text is about computers, releases, cyber attacks, cyber securities, and hospitals. I'd say this is pretty accurate since our new summary is about the role of cyber attacks and ransomware. So this is the power of natural language processing. We are able to lemmatize some random sampled words inside of our new summary to come upon their base origin. And then we simply pluralized them and printed them out to the console. This is a perfect showcase of natural language processing for the beginner. 
because we perform part of speech tagging, word tokenization, word inflection, sentence tokenization, and produced a dynamic summary generator all in a couple short lines of Python code. But more than that, we've been able to establish a connection between computer machine generated text and the human language. So this is what code is all about, exploring unknown domains and learning all along the way. I hope you guys have enjoyed this interactive tutorial. Back to the camera. This is the power of natural language processing, a tool that can rapidly advance the computer's understanding of human language. I hope from this interactive tutorial that you are able to experiment and have fun with NLP techniques with TextBlob. This is what code is about, having fun and of course, learning all along the way. If you still have doubts or are confused, the script we wrote together is stored on GitHub. Check the description down below to access the link. Thank you so much for watching. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you in the next episode. Thank you.